Hinamatsuri is a religious festival in Japan celebrated on March the 3rd. And today we're going to use it as inspiration to decorate our bullet journals for the month of March. If you don't know me, my name is Carla, this is our Katie. Welcome to the channel. Today we're planning for one new month in our bullet journals. And I am so happy that you're here to, well, plan it with me, to make it happen. Last month in February, I chose something that was more like pop culture, which is why this month I wanted to get inspired by something related to our history. So I was thinking and thinking, and there's only like music things in my head. And I was like, no, 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 I'll do that next month because I'm going to a concert. I don't go to concerts that often. But in April, I'm having a trip with my friends and we're going to a concert and I cannot be more excited, but I'll tell you more about it in the next video. And uh, well, I was torn in which, like, uh, what team should I be choosing for this month? And I just, yeah, I look at different like art movements and I was like, yeah, I don't know, maybe not right now. And I was just, uh, like struggling. I think that I narrowed down to maybe Indian because I did way back Mandy March and I love that theme and I, I was thinking about you know let's do Indian let's just go for it uh, and, and do something like that because I've done um, like more like uh, country art movements or like a little bit of them which is why sometimes I'm a bit um, because they just have so much, right? It, like you cannot concentrate only uh, on, on, on one month having all the glory that they have culturally in their country, right? So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just choose one period or something like that and then I'll make it work. So I wasn't super convinced. So I went through my Pinterest board because I have, of course, a board in which I start saving ideas and I... And as I was looking through it, I remember that I came up but by one of those themes that I have there. I was like, okay, I'm just going to do that one. It sounds pretty good. It's like spring related, sort of, maybe. I don't know. And then as I was scrolling through my boards, I found Japanese dolls. And next to it, it said March. And I'm like, why did I put Japanese dolls and that it needed to happen in March? Like, I was intrigued. I couldn't even remember when I came up with that idea so i started researching and as i was trying to make sense why i had to do it in march i investigated a little bit and hinamatsuri actually happens on march the 3rd and i guess i saw some dolls that i thought were inspiring and had me guessing because i didn't have any like pictures like it was just the title and i'm like okay and then as i started researching hinamatsuri happens in march and it's also called Dolls Day and even Girls Day. And I'll be telling you more about Hinamatsuri as we start doing our bullet journal plan. Because as I was investigating, because I mean, I found the Hinamatsuri later on, my note was only Japanese dolls for March. I'm like, okay, so I found that there's just so many categories of dolls in Japan. Like, oh my God, it was so nice to research all that. And actually, Hinamatsuri has very specific dolls that are used during the celebration. They're called, and let me check, because uh, I mean, you know, Japanese is not my language. It's a doll called Hina Ningyo. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Representing the emperor, the empress, and there's a whole thing that actually reminded me a little bit of what we do in Mexico regarding Day of the Death, because they have like uh, steps and each step makes something and they have to be arranged in a certain way. It's actually very interesting, but I was more interested in the different type of dolls that there are in Japan. I mean, speaking of um, dolls, right? And there's, I don't know how many types of dolls, honestly, like close to 20 or around 20. I'll put the, the number somewhere around the screen because there's a lot of them. And they're, of course, they have their specifications and how they came to be and whatnot. Honestly, really interesting. And I'll be covering some of it again during the plan. But I just wanted to let you know that I'll be using very specific dolls for my plan because uh, I mean, I cannot just represent them all, or can I? I don't know. I'll see what happens, but um, out of all of them, I chose like, I think there's seven, and I'm gonna let you know uh, which ones I'm gonna be using. 
They're called Kimekomi Kokeshi, which is actually the one that got me inspired to this whole thing. Ichimatsu Daruma, those I'm like, I have them here. I just don't know how to use them yet, but they might appear and I'll let you know. Teru Teru Bosu, Anesama Ningyu, Shiro Ningyu, and well, hopefully I'm pronouncing them correctly because again, um, I've been trying to learn Japanese for the last year because you know, I dream about going to Japan and learning more about their culture, the country, their people, their customs. I just, I I'm very intrigued by it all and I, I hope to go there soon. You know that I've also done a Japanese, like a traditional Japanese theme in my bullet journal before. I'll leave you the link somewhere. But um, this is more specific because it is two of my greatest passions, Japan and dolls. So uh, I'm very excited about this plan with me video. And I hope you like it too. And I hope you're excited as well. And uh, I don't know, let's just get started. You know that if you're just here to hang out, you're welcome. Get a cup of tea, get a cup of coffee, something to drink, maybe something to snack on. And if you're here to plan for the best month in the world with me, just get your materials ready. You need a notebook, you need some markers, and I think that's about it. So let's just get started. I'll see you at the end of the video. And we're ready to go. These are my materials, some Prismacolor markers, micron fine liners, I also have these paints, some watercolors, which I honestly didn't end up using. Instead, I opt to use some Prismacolor color pencils, which you'll see me take out in a moment. And here is my monthly calendar. I love how it's coming out. And I say it's coming out because it's still a work in progress. And don't forget just to download it because it's free and it's for you, a way to say thank you. I've been creating these free calendars for you for a little bit over a year and I really hope that you're liking them and of course sharing Now let's learn a little bit about Japanese dolls. As I was telling you, there are various types of traditional dolls. Some representing children and babies, some the imperial court, warriors and heroes fairy tale characters, gods, and sometimes even demons. Many have a long tradition and are still made today for household shrines, formal gift giving, or for festival celebrations such as Hinamatsuri, the doll festival, or Kodomo no Hi, which is Children's Day. Some are manufactured as local craft to be purchased by pilgrims as a souvenir of a temple visit or some other trip. Hinamatsuri, which can also be called Dolls Day or Girls Day, is a religious holiday in Japan, celebrated on March 3rd every single year. Platforms are covered with a red carpet. Materials are used to display a set of ornament dolls representing the emperor, empress, attendants and musicians in traditional court dresses of the Heian period. And there's many things to cover regarding the costumes of Hinamatsuri, but I want to talk to you a little bit about the dolls I chose. These first two dolls that I drew are classified or better classified as Hina. These are the dolls that are used in the Hinamatsuri. They can be made of many materials, but classically Hina dolls have a pyramidal body like the one in the thankfulness spread. They are very elaborate and they use many layers of textiles, wood blocks to make the hands, as well as the head. They use glass eyes and usually they could be made with human hair or in some other time silk hair. A full set comprises at least 15 dolls representing specific characters with many accessories. For my habit tracker, I wanted to use one of the cutest dolls ever. Those would be, for me, the Kokeshi dolls. They have been made for over 150 years and are from Northern Hoshu, the main island of Japan. They were originally made as toys for children of farmers. They have no arms or legs, but a large head and a cylindrical body, representing little girls. From a simple toy, it has now become a famous Japanese craft and now an established souvenir for tourists. 
And believe me that when I finally go and visit Japan, I'll get my hands on one of these Kokeshi dolls and bring it back home because they're just super, super cute. And honestly, they're the main reason or the main inspiration for this whole theme in my bullet journal. For my quotes layout, I wanted to choose some dolls that were fitting, you know, to write my favorite quotes of the books that I'm reading. And I thought that Anesama Ninyo and Shiori Ninyo were gonna be the perfect ones because they're made of washi paper. Anesama Ninyo tend to be three-dimensional, whereas Shirogi Ninyo are flat. Anesama often have elaborate hairstyles and costumes made of high-quality washi paper, and they often lack facial features. But there's also a hybrid from these two dolls called Kishi Ningyo that has become popular in recent years. Shikishi Ningyo are a type of Japanese paper dolls made with figures and scenes and are mounted on Shikishi, a rectangular fancy cardboard about a square foot in size. Anesama Ningyo means big sister dolls and Noe Ningyo means bookmark dolls. And what could be more perfect? than having a bookmark doll, you know, decorating the quotes of the month layout. I mean, it's just perfect. My photo memory spread will end up covered with lots of pictures, which is why I shouldn't really put a lot of decoration in it, but I just can't help myself. And I chose the Kimekomi dolls as well as the Daruma to decorate it. Kimekomi dolls are made out of wood. They start with a crepe or molded base of wood, and they're dressed with different patterned cloth crafts uh, that it's very planned out. The head and hands of the doll are usually finished with kofun. The hair may be part of the molded head or be a separate wig. These dolls have become very popular craft and kits with finished heads can be purchased. And in the other side I have a daruma, which is this spherical doll with red bodies and white faces without any pupils. They represent Borjitrama, the East Indian who founded Sen, who, according to the legend, removed his own eyelids to prevent sleep from breaking his concentration. Wow, right? The Ruma dolls are charmed to bring good fortune, continue prosperity, and fortitude to accomplish goals. Usually these dolls are purchased with blank eyes. One eye is filled when making a wish, the other when the wish is fulfilled. Wishes can be made through the year, but it's common in Japan to do it on New Year's Day. And to finish the plan with the weekly layout, I just decided to go back and draw a kokeshi to decorate it. I ended up not using some of the dolls that I thought I would use, especially the territory boss who just seemed to be a little bit like off, more Halloweenish than anything else. And I ended up doing a lot of decorative motifs around the dolls because I also wanted to use motifs from the period in which the dolls really peaked which was the Meiji period if I'm not mistaken as well remember that I don't speak Japanese I apologize if everything that I've been saying pronouncing might not be accurate I'm trying to do my best here because I love Japan and it has just inspired me to do the whole plan around Japanese dolls. And I hope that you like it as much as I did. And just to close this video, I want you to see what we created together in a last glimpse. From the calendar, to the memories, to the thankfulness layout, to the trackers, to the quotes, to the photo memories, and of course, with the weekly spread. Thank you so much for joining me and let's just close this video.
thank you so very much for joining me in one more video. I, I yes, I'm just so happy that you were here and I love how my notebook looks with these Japanese dolls. I know it's, um, you know, it's like a craft, let's say. I've done crafts before, like I have uh, Mexican tiles, which is not like an art, uh, you know, that you put on paper or a canvas or a wall. Like I've done murals, of course, and, and anyway, I just, I know uh, it's a bit different, but I think that's why it's special. And again, it's still something that I love, and then Japan, something that I admire so much. So I really hope that you like the video. I really hope that you plan with me and that you have a fabulous month. And if you're liking, you know, everything that I do here, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this video with someone that you know it's gonna like it. And of course, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. Each and every month, I try to do it each and every month, a plan with me video for you with different art themes, with different pop culture themes. I try to tell you a little bit about productivity, about the history behind the theme that I selected. I do every now and then videos regarding our materials, our supplies. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to share, please let me know because I'm really happy and excited to be able to have this space with you, this moment with you, and just, you know, plan for wonderful things to happen for us each and every single month. So have a beautiful month of March. Remember to keep safe, keep creative, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Please like and share my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.